Colonial High School students, do you think you know your school? Well, think again. Most of you don't even know where I'm standing. If you look behind me, I'm standing in front of a section of the school that consists of 15 different portables that is right behind the PAC. And we could find no logical explanation as to why they're here. So, WCHS News went to find a purpose for these portables. Looking into the back lot of the PAC, you can see an empty and rundown portion of the school that actually is part of the school. But this place is in no good shape. Some portables even pose safety hazards because their AC units are simply thrown on the ground. Even if you want to know just how old this school is, just look at the lights in the ceiling. If we look at the school in the distance, we can see that it looks just like a regular school. But take a look inside the halls and see that it's more than that. It's a ghost town. We went to the man in charge, Dr. Mitchell, to try to find a reasonable explanation. And we the did. Buildings. We lived in those as we built these new buildings and the construction was going on. Uh, we had fences securing the air to keep everybody safe. And then we actually did school in those other buildings. And then as the school was finished up on this end, we started to move out of those buildings into these new buildings. As a result, really all we use those buildings for now are testing. We do honors testing, uh, sometimes ESOL testing, CELA testing. The uh, AP tests sometimes are given out there at the end of the school year and sometimes night school uses those. The administration has taken no chances by quickly securing this building and making sure no one gets in illegally. Now that you've heard what this part of your school is being used for, you know you're not allowed to be in here, which is why there's nobody here. And it's been completely locked with a fence all around it. I'm Jonathan Rodriguez reporting for WCHS News.